Hello everybody, I'm Michal Forishek, also known as Misov. I'm one of the ICPC analysts and uh, now I will present the solution of problem H, cannot. Scrabble players know that this word contains a Q, but no U, so it's very useful in the game. But the problem is about something completely different. So, we live here in the city, there is some underground water, and we have dug this mother well to discover the water, and now we want to bring it to the surface, so we need to dig uh, this uh, thing, which is called a canat. But in order to do so, we would need to transport all the dirt out, and the transportation of dirt, co the cost is proportional to the distance we have to move it. So in order to make the construction cheaper, we are going to dig several vertical shafts and use those to transport the dirt out. And what you are given in this problem is the width and the height and the assumption that this is a triangle. This is already dug and this is what we are going to do. And you are given n, the number of shafts you are going to dig, and you, your task is to find the optimal locations for those. So this is mostly a mathematical problem, and what you need to do is write down some equations that describe what is going on, and find the optimal locations for the shafts so that the total cost of digging is minimized. So here is what you do to solve this problem. Imagine the situation with uh, three consecutive shafts. One of them is here, one of them is there. We will for now assume that these two locations are fixed, and now we are looking for the location of the third one in between them. So this is at xi, this is xi plus two, and we are looking for this xi plus one to find the optimal cost for transporting the dirt out of this region. So what is going on here, as this is a triangle, everything is similar to itself, so there is a constant k such that this is k times xi, this is k times xi plus one, this is k times xi plus two, and now, if you take a piece of dirt here, it will be transported via this shaft because this is the shortest of those three distances. In fact, what will happen is that there, here is a spot such that this plus this is the same as this. This spot has to be there because this k is guaranteed to be less than one. So all of this dirt goes like this, all of this dirt goes like there, and the dirt from here, the left half goes there, the right half goes there, and this allows us to compute the total cost for this part. And now for each, each of these vertical shafts, we get one such equation that says, says that this, where, where is the optimal location between them? Now the probably easiest from the implementation side solution is at this point to stop thinking and to implement the solution that numerically optimizes this set of equations and uh, it should reasonably quickly converge to the optimal locations of those canats. Of course, you can also write it down as an actual system of equations and find the solution, or you can even spend some more time with pen and paper and realize that there is a closed form for the solution that can then be implemented. The trick to finding the closed form is to realize that everything like scales, so it's the same if you are here or if you are here and you are wider, and it will turn out that the the proportions between those vertical shafts will somehow uh, satisfy some very simple recurrence and can actually be hardwired into the solution. But probably one of the uh, solutions where we leave more, more of the computing to your computer and not to your teammate with pen and paper is the better way to go. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your attention.